Oh dear, it is cold. But yes, so today we're going to be going through this huge bale of jeans I've just got. And you might be wondering, it looks like you've already opened it. But this is how the box come. I wasn't too impressed. These are heavy, I'm going to put them down. Oh my. This 10 kg worth of Lee jeans, which I got from Vault Vintage. So let's get to unboxing it. No real need to open the top, really, but uh, might as well. Part of the fun, if I can actually open it. To be fair, a dart probably isn't the best instrument in the world to be uh, opening it. But I uh, wonder why I've got a dart. If you can uh, make that link. There you go. I've got, oh, I've got the neck. Whoop. And we're in. Bow. <laughs> you might be wondering why is there all tape on the top? Well, I've got a fun story for you. Volt got mine and Vivid Garms on Instagram's orders mixed up. So that went to him before it went to me. So I've been waiting just a little bit for this box. But we're not going to complain. It's here now. We'll grab our trusty dart once again to open it. You might also be wondering as well, the hat. You haven't worn a hat before in one of the videos. Little fun fact for you. It's very cold and so am I. And as well, not going to lie, I've been wearing this all day so my hair is kind of flat i wasn't expecting this to arrive today but not gonna lie mainly it is because it is very cold outside i don't think i'd be able to stand here without it once again i don't actually think you're meant to open this with a dart we're gonna go for the brutal approach i was going for the nice approach of like slowly undoing it but ah, oh, i just hit my elbow i just had flashbacks to when i hit my elbow last time oh 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 i hit my elbow oh Body bone. Did I say this was 10 kg worth of Lee jeans? I'm pretty sure I did. These should all be A grade as well, so hopefully it lives up to that. But our first pair of jeans are, ooh, a light blue pair. What size are they? Because this is the key factor for every pair of these jeans. What size they're gonna be? I wanna know how they got so many Lee jeans, quite frankly. That is a pretty botched repair. Car, it's all on the other side as well. Not very A grade. Wonder why one cuff is rolled up like, what? what? How do you do that? One cuff, is that like a new style? Is that what's trendy? These are not very A grade by the looks of it. Oh dear, it looks well bad in the light. Let's hope that comes out in the wash. But for our second pair, just a dark blue pair this time. These ones look dramatically bigger. These actually do look more A grade than the last pair, which is always nice. Riders, what does that mean? Like, what, what is that a style of jean? Like rider jeans? Size, oh, 34 to 32. The thing, I don't understand the sizing on jeans. Because so I've had some before that were like 32. And then you go to measure the waist and they were like 36. These ones are different. These don't have, oh yeah, they probably did have the patch on the back. But it looks like someone's removed it. Actually, no, take that back. That's just the stitching from the inside tag. But not going to lie, the thing on the back is probably my favourite part of the jeans. These are another good size. They look pretty A grade as well, which is always nice. And the next pair, oh, oh my God. God, that does not look very good. That looks like a lot of bleaching. Oh, we're actually saying that though. It might be the style with the jeans because it is kind of like them throughout. These are actually really nice, these pair. I like how all the buttons have got like the little like Lee embroidered patch on it or the little embroidered stamp, whatever you want to call it. The only thing that makes me say I think they should be like it is because this is like kind of bleach dyed. Unless the person did that as well. They went to some great lengths if they did. These look like a bit of an older pair, a bit of a different bag. But well, once again, another good looking size. They all look really good, like sizing wise. My one big fear with this was that they're all going to be huge. But they do actually look consistently all right. There's no flaws on these as well, which is nice. And they got the Lee patch on the back. I'm estimating there should be 16 pairs in here. So let's hope we get that. We've had five so far. So hopefully there's another at least 11 in here. Oh, no, nah, I like these ones. These are like a summery kind of vibe. They look very old though. But this looks Lee patch on the back is like rock solid. I don't know what's wrong with that. I don't know if that's just what happens to them over time. Who knows? But there's a little grass stain there, which isn't great, but hopefully it'll come out in the wash. But these look like a really nice pair. My only complaint is they do look pretty big. Another one where the leafing on the back is like rock solid and looks like old and like faded. But another really nice light blue pair. The threading's coming undone a little bit on our oh, right. Yeah, that is probably not the best 
best thing in the world. I definitely could repair these, but I don't know if it's worth it. Do you fix them and potentially run the risk of making them worse? But apart from that, they look pretty solid condition. Apart from that little bit of threading and that little bit of threading. These don't even have tags in them either, which isn't great. These are like really like thin. These, oh, what are these? These are Lee, or are they? They are Lee, but what is that on the back? Like that's not your average Lee thing. Oh, this someone's like, this isn't even Lee because look, they've printed over the badge and you should see the state of the embroidering on this. This is definitely not meant to be there. But once again, do you take the risk of taking it off and it ruining them or do you just leave it on? These are like a vintage Lee pair. These look really old. The condition apart from that thing on the back, which why would you even put that on there? Is that, oh my, is actually pretty solid. So you can't complain. A bit more of a modern pair this time with the little Lee thing on the back and another really good looking size. A little bit of throw oh, no and it's disappeared it was only fluff thank god but just another blue pair pretty solid nothing to complain about there these are like weird like dark brown like lee patch and that's like light blue pair though that looks a bit strange where that's not been faded but no real condition flaws on here they are a little bit big but that's not the end of the world first time for this lee badge this one looks well different different as well lee like button thing whatever you want to call them normally it's like a plate this this one's got like a weird like screw thing in the middle but just another plain blue pair not too special no major flaws on them which is great the oh 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 Two randoms talking behind my house. I got a bit concerned. These are a really nice like faded pair though. The only thing is, oh, that is on the pocket as well. Some people might like that though where it is kind of like the distressed effect in a way. Nice little Lee patch on the back and a little one in the middle. Not too shabby. Another basic blue pair. Nothing really too special here. No major flaws though, which is great. A new patch once again. Premium quality Lee jeans, these ones. Another nice pair though. You can't complain when they are 10 out of 10 condition. I want to know how many we've got so far because I think we're probably going to be on over 16 by the end. Oh, these look very big. Yeah, probably one of our biggest pairs. Yeah, just another plain blue pair. Nothing too special again, but they don't look bad condition either. Apart from the purple paint someone's decided to put on it. And the last pair of the bale, and this is like another new patch. This is like reverse pattern. Normally the light ones on the inside. You can really see these were worn properly by their last owner. Oh, what have they done? They've had like a pen explode in their pocket. Bit tragic. 10 out of 10 condition these ones though again a little bit of wear but people do like the kind of worn look ah uh, but the pen has exploded on the outside of their pocket a little bit but the big reveal how many jeans did we actually get so two three oh four five count along six seven eight nine ten oh eleven twelve thirteen oh fourteen can we hit it oh 15 so we didn't hit 16 oh well 15 no not too shabby but that is it for this lee jean unboxing if you did enjoy it please drop the video a like it'd be so appreciated and please subscribe to help me hit 1k by the end of the year it'd be so appreciated and of course to never miss content like this in the future and if you're wondering where these jeans are going to be available they're going to be available on my default which is up on the screen now and it's linked in the description go head over there they'll already be listed by the time this video goes live but i really do hope you enjoyed as i said i definitely enjoyed unboxing these jeans because as i said i've been waiting for them for a little while but if you did enjoy it please like the video subscribe to my channel and comment down below any videos you'd like to see in the future